Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. My name's Destiny. I do book things here. I want to get this out of the way before he moves again. If you see the camera shake, I apologize. Fred is down by my tripod and he's obsessed with it and he keeps attacking it and nothing I do makes him stop. So that's just that. Um, also, the flickering in the background is a candle. My hair is not on fire, I promise. So for November, I ended up finishing four things. And um, all together, it's a pretty good reading month. It was a little bit slower than I like. Um, all of them, pretty much, I did a physical and audio like I listened and read. But the month of November kind of flew, flew by me. I don't know if it did anybody else, but it definitely did me, Frederick. Um, so we're going to talk while I eat dinner. We also are going to talk about my December bingo board and what I may read for that. Um, but yeah, let's start here. So, so far for this year, as I'm sitting here talking to you, I have finished 93 or 94 books. Your girl's on a roll this year. Um, considering last year I finished right under 50, I think. This year's going pretty great. So the first one I finished, which I don't have in my hands, is One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. Um, it's the sequel to... One of Us is Lying. I really enjoyed it, actually. I remember trying to physically read it. I just didn't care as much. Listening to it made it much more pal palatable. And I, I love a YA, like, thriller where the stakes aren't as high. I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't awful as I thought it was going to be. I really enjoyed it. I think I ended up giving it... Hold on, I'm checking my book journal right now. I think I want to say I gave it... Yeah, I ended up giving it 3.75, no, four stars. I gave it four stars, baby Jesus, I can't read. Um, it wasn't as good as the first one, but I mean, I didn't see the ending coming, but it's just, I don't know. The second, the first one made me feel kind of stupid, and I really like that feeling where I'm like, okay, I missed, there's something I missed here let's let me go back because I missed something here for sure the second one didn't give me those feels I mean I felt it was very formulaic almost in my my personal opinion but I didn't hate it and I like her writing style so it was that was good and then next I finished in my dreams the whole knife which I just um automatically listened to audibly and it was so good I gave it five stars I absolutely loved it that ending left me wanting more. Um, I, it was not a, so much a new spin on a thriller. Um, if you've never heard of it, it's all about a girl who's going to her, I want to say it's her 10 year, uh, 10 year reunion for college. Um, in college, her best friend, her and her roommate dies. They think her boyfriend did it, but He's always maintained his innocence. They found the murder weapon under his bed, but could never prove he actually put the scissors there. Could never prove that he actually did it, so they had to let him go. Um, and the book starts out with her in a bar with him and her, him, um, them talking before she goes to the reunion. And once she gets to the reunion, the victim's little brother pulls him all aside and says, I know one of you killed her. Which one of you was it? And so now you play the game of going backward and forward in time, flashbacking through everyone's memories to learn exactly what happened to her, who murdered her, and why. And it's kind of like, again, uh, one of us is lying or one of us is next. Everyone has a secret they don't want coming out. Um, and you don't know what those are. You slowly, slowly get them. Um, yeah. It was a very thriller horror -y month for me and I'm still on that kick if I'm being brutally honest but um then after I finished In My Dreams of Hold Knife next I finished Blood and Honey which is the second one in the Serpent and Dove series um I heard people say that Serpent and Dove wasn't good but Blood and Honey is worth it in my humble opinion I like Serpent and Dove better than I did Blood and Honey that's just it um I found <laughs> I don't know. Blood and Honey, I'd liked it to see Reed's character arc. Um, 
Lou, I felt like, was very flat. And seeing the ending, I'm really, truly hoping it doesn't do the same trope that every other book you that you read like this does. Because it's just going to make me angry. Um, but yeah, I honestly didn't care for Blood and Honey as much as I did Serpent and Dove. And I ended up giving it... I'm trying to double check. Um, I ended up giving it three stars. It was okay. I just... Yeah. It was just nothing that I um, want to write home about. I, I think it's suffered from middle book syndrome, but that's just my own opinion. After that, I finished You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen McManus. So, yes, I went to another one of her books. Told you I loved her writing. And I wanted something that was easily digestible for me. And I really, really enjoyed that one. Um. It didn't leave me wanting, like, more. No. It looked way more. I'm trying to remember. Because I've read two more books that are going to go in my December wrap-up since then. Um, it left me wanting more. That freaking ending? I need more. I want more so much. And I want to look up to see if there was more. Like, if there was another book or something. There isn't. And I'm low-key pissed off about it if I'm being honest um and it just it has a trope in it that at the very end I go what the fuck and then when I read that she wasn't writing another one for it, it really honestly made me angry because the last line which doesn't spoil anything, we're going to scorch the earth. That's the last line of this freaking book. We're not going to see the scorching of the earth because Miss McManus, I need to see the scorching of the earth for this. But, I mean, all in all, it wasn't a bad book. It just, the ending really made me angry. That's all I have to say. But, for December, I decided to do myself a bingo board just to keep myself a little preoccupied. Um, and I will insert a photo here about said bingo board so you can see it and you can see my December spread because it's really cute. Um, and right now I do have six books picked out that I want to read. So we're going to go through that. One is one that I'm already reading. Well, before I go into what I'm, I'm going to read, Frederick George, leave it. Um, before I go into what I was going to read, what I'm going to read, let me go through the bingo board with you. So. Top left square is Thriller or Horror. Next is Book of the Month pick. Next is Birthday Book, which I'll explain. Next is Big Book. In the middle is Free Spot. Next is Buddy Read. The la the bottom left is Nonfiction. The middle is Short Book. And then the last one is the Library Book. So, um, for Thriller or Horror, I want to finish Into the Drying Deep. I've been reading it for a little while. I can't find the audio anywhere, so it's taking me a little while to get through it. I am entranced. I'm about halfway through. Absolutely loving it. I'm just not, I haven't been able to find as much time to physically read um, as to audibly, but I am enjoying it a whole bunch. Book of the Month pick. I finally want to get to... Recruition by Blake Crouch. I do have the audiobook, so it shouldn't be hard to get through. When I finish the audiobook I'm currently reading, I'll probably go ahead and pick that up. Next is birthday book. So, for my birthday, my wonderful better half got gifted me three books that she wrote on the inside of, which honestly is the cutest thing in the world. Um, and it's a series, so she put the order the series goes in and everything, and what birthday she gave it to me for and, like, dated it. I find it fucking adorable. Um, and then my best friend took me book shopping for my birthday. So I got six books all in all. No, seven books all in all for my birthday. So I want to finish and read one of those. Um, right now, the one I have picked out is Any Way the Wind Blows because I'm currently reading it. But I may end up crossing that, that square off twice if I finish it. If I finish Any Way the Wind Blows and pick up the next one. 
Next is Big Book. And for Big Book, I would like to do uh, Into the Growing Deep, but I may make it a challenge because I want to finish 100 books. And when I started this, I had, I was at 91, so each square would have had to be filled out with a separate book for me to actually complete that. Um, and so I'm hoping to pick up a big book and finish it. We will see. I have a couple audiobooks that are pretty long, and I'm going to check the page count and see. Free spot, I don't know yet. That's going to, I'm going to slide a book in there that doesn't have a spot already. Frederick George. Don't do it. Don't. Leave it. Don't. Okay, his eyes focused on something else. Perhaps again. Fred, leave it alone, Bubba. He's not even moving. Like, he doesn't want to attack anything moving. It's the inanimate objects he wants to attack. I don't understand it. Fred, stop. Um. But I'm gonna slide a book in there that I don't already that I already um that I don't have a spot for. Next is Buddy Reed. And for Buddy Reed, it's Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, which I have finished. I spoke number one, I've already finished. Um so that one's already crossed off. I'm really, really proud of myself that I've got that crossed off and ready to go. My best friend's still reading it. I love Jessica to pieces. Um, when she offered to read this book with me, I was really, really excited. And I had the audiobook, so I listened to it in like two days. Um, I ended up having to make a trip to Dallas and then back again. So I finished most of it there and then finished the rest of it on Monday morning at work. So it was really good. Um, if you want to know my review and what I really thought, go tune in to my um december wrap up it probably won't be this quick um i'm filming this on a work night the baby is asleep and i'm trying to get this video up for you guys this week because i'm trying to be more consistent so that's why this is going so fast next is nonfiction. um for nonfiction, i started reading the little book of hugga and i'm absolutely loving it but physical reading is not my best friend at the moment and i'm currently physically reading it so I will pick up and finish a little book, book of Hooga this month for my nonfiction. Short book, I could use a little book of Hooga, um, but we'll see what I end up sliding in there. I have a couple other ones. For me, a short book is anything under under 300 pages. Um, so if it's like 260, I'll count it. I'll probably move that down to 250 pages because I feel like 300 is just a normal novel. Um, but that's for that. And then lastly is library book. For library book, I think I already crossed it off for Four Winds, but instead I'm going to use All Your Perfects by, um, Colleen Hoover because your girl is trying to finish out her, um, buzzwords a thought. I have two more prompts for it. A, word, a book with the word all in the title, a book with little or big. So a little book of hookah and all your perfects and I'm done. But yeah, I just want to sit, eat some of my dinner with you, drink a little bit of wine, tell you what I'm planning on reading, tell you what I've read because girl's been crazy. It's been kind of crazy around here. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Um, there will be a birthday haul coming soon, and I will show you all those books. For, for now, I'm going to go eat my dinner, finish my glass of wine, take my makeup off, and probably go to bed because your girl's pretty tired. But I want to start getting a video up a week, and if I don't film at some point during the week, I'm not going to get it done. So yeah, I will see you on my next one. Bye, guys.